is Good Day Tampa Bay. Heads up, a danger falling from space. The latest on that out of control NASA satellite. Who will finish first in Florida? The Republicans put to their first big test later today. Good Saturday morning. Welcome to Good Day Tampa Bay. I'm Chris Field. These stories in a minute. We begin with an update on a Fox News alert. One man in custody after a shooting during a mass led by the Pope. It happened in Germany in the Central Cathedral Square. Police say a man fired shots from an air gun hitting one of the security guards. Officers were able to detain the man. The guard was not seriously hurt. The incident actually happened an hour before the mass began. And Pope Benedict, he did continue with the service. German police have now launched a full investigation. New this morning, that out-of-control NASA satellite has finally returned to Earth. But it wasn't a landing. It was more like a crash. The upper atmospheric research satellite came crashing through the Earth's atmosphere about 1 o'clock this morning. NASA has not given an exact location yet, but most of the craft believed to have burned up into about 30 separate pieces. The satellite, the biggest to tumble out of orbit in more than 30 years, it was launched from the Space Shuttle Discovery in 1991. NASA decommissioned it in 2005, moved it to a lower orbit to cut its lifespan short. Now, space junk actually enters our atmosphere almost every day. No injuries have ever been reported from that. The odds that one of us ever gets struck by any of that falling space debris, about 1 in 22 trillion. By comparison, getting hit by lightning, that's about 1 in a million chance. And on the off chance you do find a piece of the satellite, you should call police to report it. It's against the law to keep it or to try to sell it. So where do the GOP candidates stand here in Florida? We should get a clearer picture later today. Florida Republicans that hold a straw poll in Orlando. Now, before the debate, Texas Governor Rick Perry was heavily favored to win. He still might, but there's no doubt his position on illegal immigration costs him support among conservatives. Immigration, a real hot-button issue. It got a lot of attention from candidates during the debate in Orlando this week. Perry believes illegal immigrants should be allowed benefits. Now, the other candidates disagree, say they do anything they could to keep illegal immigrants out. But Perry didn't have the most controversial stance at the debate. That goes to Rick Santorum. I would say any type of sexual activity has absolutely no place in the military. The military's job is to do one thing, and that is to defend our country. We need to give the military... The rest of the answer drowned out by applause. Clearly a popular answer in front of this Republican crowd, but a Republican gay pride group. They are demanding an apology, not just in general, but specifically toward that soldier. They say Santorum was disrespectful and the other candidates did not say a word during the exchange. The man who shot three Florida police officers during a standoff has taken his own life. It all started in Lake City. That's north of Gainesville in Columbia County. Three Lake City police officers were shot while serving papers, two in the leg, one in the arm. The suspect was barricaded in his home for several hours. Officers put the whole area under lockdown. Just before 11 last night, we did learn the gunman committed suicide. His name has not yet been released. The injured officers, they were taken to the hospital, and at last check, they're in good condition. A health concern this morning in Pinellas County, several chickens there testing positive for encephalitis, but now some of them also have the West Nile virus. There are now a total of 15 cases of encephalitis, three cases of West Nile and Sentinel chickens. So what does this mean? Well, mosquitoes are infecting chickens with the viruses and mosquitoes could transmit the viruses to humans. So far, no human cases of encephalitis or West Nile have been reported, but Pinellas County officials, they're not taking any chances. They're using extra mosquito spray in the areas where the chickens did test positive and they recommend spraying yourself with insect repellent, especially if you're outside at dawn or dusk. Be careful what you put on Facebook. We've all heard that advice before, but one Michigan woman, she didn't take that advice and it may be costing her thousands of dollars. Leslie Ann Thompson was on short-term disability for 90 days from a nonprofit group. After that, it was supposed to transition to long-term disability, but instead, the company sent her paperwork accusing her of faking the injury. That's because of her Facebook page. They used that as evidence. Thompson had pictures posted showing her on vacation, showing her vacuuming, Thompson says her injury prevents her from sitting for long periods of time. But her Facebook page showed her in China, abroad, and the company figured sitting through a long flight, that meant she was cured. She's still fighting for those benefits. 
more Facebook news. There's an unintended glitch in the new Facebook upgrades. Now you can tell who has unfriended you over the past year. Ouch. It's on the new timeline feature. Now before that information was mostly kept private, now it's open for everybody to see. Facebook won't comment on this feature. Dreams come true for sports car owners in South Florida today. Ferrari owners can actually race their cars and it's legal. It's the 18th annual Ferrari Challenge Series at the Homestead Miami Speedway and it runs today and tomorrow. The public can compete or just go and watch the event sanctioned by Ferrari and the Grand American Road Racing Association. Sounds like fun. Distance swimmer Diana Inyad tries to set another, a new world record. She takes off from Cuba to Florida. Now on Friday, Inyad spent the day meeting with her support team, carbo loading, loosening up. She did try this same exact swim last month, made it 29 hours. She gave up halfway, says an asthma attack brought her down. When she got out of the water, she said she would never repeat the stunt, but changed her mind. She took off from Hemingway Marina around 6 last night. That's when the seas and the weather are most favorable. Inyad is 62 years old. She's doing this without a shark cage. Instead, she relies on special equipment that surrounds her with an electric current to keep predators away. For the world record to count, she's not allowed to touch the boat. Her team can't help her in any way except to pass her food, medicine, and a new swimsuit. When we come back, Andy Johnson has our weekend forecast. Stay with us. The calendar does say fall now, but it feels like mid-July. It summer. does. You know, the water temperature is down through the Keys and uh, just north of Cuba is still in the mid-80s. Looks like it'll be drier by Monday and Tuesday, so people will be able to enjoy the, the least drier Florida. A good start to the work week. Yeah. Thanks a lot, Andy. And thank you for joining us this morning. For Andy Johnson, I'm Chris Field. Have a great day, Tampa Bay.